grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. I'm here today, the 24th part of my life story. I'm sure uh, the 25th will be the final one for the moment. Uh, all glory and honor uh, that I've been able to share this uh, testimony with uh, many people all over the world. I got a lot of encouragement coming up. Uh, this morning I got a uh, little bit of a scripture message which I want to read it. Do not underestimate the power of encouragement. Some receive courage only when encouraged. Hebrews 3, chapter 3, verse 13. Do not underestimate the power of encouragement. Some receive courage only when encouraged. Uh, I want to mention two people very specially as I come to the tail end of my testimony. Uh, you know, the encouragement that I receive. Uh, Dinesh David. My great friend, we were members of the board of directors of the prison fellowship long time back, 15, 18 years. Uh, throughout the time I started my crisis, he had been supporting me with a lot of encouragement. And uh, this uh, 24 episodes would not have gone through if not for the great encouragement given by Dinesh. Thank you, Dinesh. And also for every way that you have supported us. You know, your prayers, you have your canvas prayers to the entire world, sharing my testimony, sharing my uh, suffering. So you have been a great source of inspiration, uh, Dinesh, uh, in going through this whole thing. Thank you and praise God for people like you. Then I have another uh, friend, another uh, great sister uh, who had been really, really uh, working uh, on uh, me. Uh, encouraging me, uh, uh, that is also, uh, uh, you know, uh, this lady, Shika Krimana, Shika Bikun, uh, you know, she is from the community of Risen Lord. Uh, sincerely, honestly, I have still not seen her. I have spoken to her on the phone, but uh, this beautiful daughter of God has strengthened me all time. Sometimes she she brings me to the point of, uh, um, you know, getting annoyed. But that is all the encouragement. If I write something negative, she writes straight away, say, no, have courage. You have written earlier, all go great testimonies for God. So, go on. And, uh, you know, for last eight years, the encouragement given by uh, Shika, all in the community of risen Lord, but uh, I want to specialize, I want to make a very special tribute. As I come to the tail end of this uh, story, uh, Shika, you have been a, a tremendous source of inspiration for me going through this uh, journey. Uh, every time when I write something on the Facebook, you are one person who will encourage me and in many ways you have supported me, prayers, all that, everything, all glory for God. Then uh, I don't have a picture of Shadwell White, but I want to pray, uh, uh, give a special uh, uh, thing for Shadwell White because he uh, he's another great uh, person who has really supported this uh, whole uh, uh, testimony. And, uh, you know, he keeps me uh, uh, informed all the time. Uh, uh, and he shares with everyone. Yesterday I met some person. He said, uh, Shad uh, White uncle told me, about your testimony. So uh, these are the people that were really kept me going, uh, encouraging Shadwell is uh, Ryan's father whom I mentioned yesterday. So uh, Vasana's uh, husband, uh, they, they have been lovely great friends of ours, you know, uh, Shadrin, uh, their daughter, they are really, you know, every trouble, they were the people. Vasana was the, the girl who was looking after my children in 1992. When we were going through all the crises, uh, yesterday I shared how uh, Ryan gave his car and money for uh, 
Hiroshka. So these people have made a big, big, tremendous contribution. I, I truly, uh, this is uh, Ryan, Ryan's uh, father, Ryan's dad, this uh, Shadwell White. So uh, these uh, people, uh, you know, what they have done is missing. Um, as I come to the very tail ends, I want to uh, pay a special, special tribute to uh, Shermila's mother, Mrs. Sheila Fonseca. That is my sister-in-law's mother, uh, along with my mother-in-law. You know, she had been another tremendous source of strength for me. Uh, she is the person who told me about uh, community of Risen Lord, the Lalit Pereira, and uh, what a journey it had been with the community of Risen Lord. Uh, great lady of faith, great lady who had, uh, who had been, uh, uh, you know, praying for me, encouraging us, and uh, so. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Sheila Auntie. You know, you have been a great strength for us. And also, uh, I want to remember another person that who has really, uh, I want to uh, give a thank, uh, is uh, Ranjit Piris, one of my subordinates who worked at the company. He himself has a case company. Uh, you know, he was working as the assistant general manager in our company, and suddenly he was his services are terminated for no valid reasons and he came crying to me and told me uh, you know I'm going through all these things uh, how can I you know look after my family and all that so I said don't worry you just trust in God go to Mabole he's from Bhattale I said go to Mabole uh, service conducted by the Ladit Pereira and you will be blessed true to my word two weeks time he says he yeah, got a job he was the assistant general manager here. His services were no longer required, but he had got a job in another big company as a general manager. So uh, this is what God can do. He was attending the, he, uh, he, uh, he's still attending community of risen Lord, the meetings in Mabole Vattala, uh, great blessing that he received. Um, I remember this man, when I was in the, when I was at Monaragala, in 2007 as a prisoner in Munaragal Hospital, this man came all the way to see me at Munaragal Hospital, with, along with another one of my subordinates, Faris. Uh, so, uh, we are eternally thankful to these great friends that God has given us. Few, but wonderful, amazing people. Another person I want to remember, I don't have a photograph of her, but I have Krishan Dimel, and uh, Sandhya, uh, their mother particularly, my, te my teacher, my grade 5 teacher, which is Patsy Dimel, uh, she, from 2007, from the time trouble started, she's now in the 80s, but, uh, you know, she comes home to ho our home, walking, then she will take me to some other place, all her contacts, all her pupils, whoever, uh, a great lady, this is uh, Patsy Dimel, um, and um, this is Prishant, uh, her son, uh, you know, uh, this man had been a great strength for me all the time and um, uh, she, he's the man who signed as a, 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 for my bail in 1992, one of, the, one of those people who signed for me for bail in 1992 when many people are reluctant to sign, this man was working in the government railway, he came and signed in. Um, his, his uh, sister, Rukshini, is in Australia, uh, another one of my uh, people, uh, you know, uh, they, are, they are really uh, people that who have really uh, kept us encouraged all the time, never allowed us to, well, so thank you, Patsy teacher, uh, thank you, Kishan, thank you, Rukshini, uh, for all your support, what you have given us. Uh, why I share all this is because people should know that God creates certain people for us. I have another person, my one of my old secretaries, Shamali Seniviratna. Recently also, uh, she worked with me in 1980, 1989, 1990, I think at HPT group. Uh, this lady uh, and uh, Shamali and Damika, they visited us very recently when Dinusha was sick. So 25 years back, 26 years back, she worked with me, but this great friendship that we have. 
and um, she says uh, she is praying for Dinusha every day. Keep in a photograph of her, Dinusha, at her home near her altar. Amazing. You know, this is why I value my friends a lot. They are, you know, they are not the people who make a big noise and a big shout and all that, but they do their part of the job. I want to make a very special tribute. Yesterday I was talking about a lot of contributions that came our way. Uh, I want to talk about a special set of people, Hirushka's band. You know, Hirushka is, uh, he, he is along with his band, uh, bank work, Standard Chartered Bank. He is having, uh, with his, some of his friends, a band called Backstage. So you can see the Backstage with the uh, famous Ronnie Lake here. Uh, so uh, these boys, uh, on a couple of weddings that they played, they played for the wedding. They got the money, whatever they are share. They gave everything to Hirushka, telling for Nangi's medical expenses. This is amazing. Again, I'm playing a business tribute to the young people. You know how they sacrifice their things. They 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 break the night. They have to go through the entire night playing in the band, and then they give that whole thing to Dinusha's medical expenses. So this is, uh, again, great people that we have come across, young people particularly. I'm so happy. It's, 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 it's good for this nation. It's good for this land. It's good for the Christian community to find that uh, we have young people coming up in this way. Yesterday I shared a lot of ladies' college uh, young people. Uh, today here we have this young boys, set of young boys uh, contributing, breaking risk and playing in the band, collecting that money and giving that money for Hirushka. Uh, I want to mention very specially Prasadini, that is Prasad's daughter, who gave a contribution for us in our difficult times. There are many. I'm not, I'm not going to, I can't uh, mention all the people because I will miss a lot of people. Uh, but there are a few people that are coming to my uh, head at this moment of time. Uh, a special tribute I need to pay for my Cousins, again, a lot of my cousins, particularly you can see, uh, this is uh, Dananjali, that is my Lukumama's uh, daughter, Shama, uh, that is Bodhika's, my cousin's uh, wife, and this is uh, Mudita's wife. Uh, you know, these two girls, along with Biranji, came to see me in that Candy Hospital when I was a prisoner. I will never, never forget Dananjali. Shama and Viranji uh, for that great thing with along with your husbands Janaka, Bodhika and uh, Rohan Somawansa. Uh, these are wonderful, amazing people uh, who have been really, uh, you know, supporting us in many, many different ways. So, uh, you know, uh, also I want to remember Nihalaya and uh, Manoaka. Uh, they are, uh, you know, Manoaka is not well. But even though she is not well, she gives a call all the time to find out how the new shy is. Then a very special cousin of mine. Yesterday I spoke about uh, Gauri's uh, daughter, Janisha. This is Gauri's sister, Mayuri. The only girl, I think, only cousin, I think, who is inviting us for our birthdays nowadays. Right? So on the, 7th of, uh, on the 20th of February, she had a birthday. We were invited. Very rarely we are invited for birthdays nowadays. But this girl never forgets us every year, 20th of February. Whatever we may be at top, we may be at the lower point, but uh, she invites us. Mayuri, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, she's another great girl who is always concerned about Dinusha. In little, little ways, whatever she can do, she will support us words, uh, you know, great things this girl has done in her life. So I want to, I want to thank uh, Mayuri for this wonderful, wonderful way that you have been uh, looking at. Then I have few of my students, you know, I told you God has given me this uh, great uh, blessing to teach my students. And I want to play a very special, they have they've been very special, these students, all my students. But I want to play a very special tribute again 
to this girl, Subani. I have still not seen her. We have been only speaking to her on the telephone and on Skype, but I gave her tuition and now she's a SIMA uh, finalist. She got to her top SIMA. Um, uh, this girl, uh, always, even though she has completed uh, SIMA, she's very much in touch and she she's a Buddhist, but she uh, she uh, always talks about God and God bless you is the, is the word that is in this girl's uh, mouth all the time. Uh, one day, uh, you know, I was uh, really short of money. I did not know uh, how to look after, care for Dinusha. So I knew, I knew I don't have money, but I never told anyone. And this girl gives me a call and says, Sir, I have deposited 20,000 in your account. I asked, why? Why did you make a 20,000? And she was just about to get married. So I asked, why did you know? I just want you to use that one. This is amazing, these young people coming up in this way. And, and uh, you know, 20,000, lot of money for a person who was just getting married at that time. And I have not seen this girl so far face to face. But lovely girl, Subani, thank you very much for your great thing. There are a couple of students, uh, I can't, uh, I can't uh, mention all the people, but I have another lovely student from Brunei. She's also one of my pupils who started uh, SIMA at early levels with me. Now she's also, she's Victoria from Brunei. And she has completed her SIMA. She's a uh, SIMA member now. And this girl recently, uh, suddenly she sends me a message. I have transferred some money to your account and that was something like 30,000 30, Sri Lanka rupees, I think. These are lovely things God has given me. You know, unknown people. I have not seen these people. I have only spoken to them on Skype. Uh, you know, I can see the photographs because I see them on the Facebook. But Victoria, thank you very much. You and your husband, that contribution is a mighty thing you have done for us. Then uh, I have another beautiful, beautiful uh, student, uh, you know, uh, who has been giving me all the encouragement, set me. Uh, still I'm teaching her. She's also at the final level now. Uh, God is going to bless her in a mighty way. This lovely girl, set me, Kudukwaku, is from Sri Lanka, but she's staying in Mauritius. Again, I have not met her, but these people have been great help for me. So thank you, set me once again. Then I have another uh, Sri Lankan girl, Nilakshi. Uh, she's uh, staying in Australia, Melbourne. Again, uh, she's at the final level of SEMA. I have not seen her again, but this girl has been a tremendous inspiration on my life. Uh, I did some tuition for her, but uh, she had and she had to pay a certain amount. She has sent me extra money. So I asked, hey, Nilakshi, did you make a mistake? And she says, no, no, I want you to use it. And some recently, uh, some person from Sri Lanka gives me a call and says, Nilakshi has given your number, wants to contact you because uh, Nilakshi uh, wants me to, for him to find me a job. Great people, you know. The people I have not seen in my life. Yesterday, I think Dinesh sent a message in the Facebook saying how valuable the friends are. You are truly, truly true, uh, Dinesh. These friends, these people, the God, how they connect us. God's connections. This is what it matters a lot. So, Nilakshi, again, a big thank you for you and your husband, Victor. I have not seen you, but you. And you introduced, Nilakshi introduced me to another person in my life, uh, Anju. Uh, Anju is another great girl. I'll speak about her tomorrow. Uh, she is now finding students to me and sending students to me and keeping me up all the time. A great entrepreneur, I would say, a big one to come up. She's uh, uh, far away in another land. I think at the moment she's in States, but she's from Australia. and. Uh, so Anju uh, Mendes is another great one, but that she was introduced to me by Nilakshi. Nilakshi has found me a lot of, lot of uh, students uh, to work with me. So um, again, a great tribute to these people. 
Uh, another one which I want to talk about, I don't have a photograph of her, her, him, but that is, uh, you know, I spoke about my life in prison. I want to uh, speak about one person particularly. Uh, he's in the, he's inside the jail now because I think he was uh, given a jail sentence. Uh, Mr. Jayatilaka, he was the former deputy commissioner in charge of VAT. When I was in the prison, um, every night he used to arrange a dinner for me. Uh, he had a restaurant or something like that. He used to uh, arrange a dinner for me and that was a, a vegetable uh, full course dinner. Every day he sends it to me. And uh, he's, I think, serving a sentence. Uh, God should bless him. God will bless him because the way that he helped me when I was in the uh, prison. Thank you, Mr. Jayatilaka. Even though you are going to a jail center, I'm sure God is with you and God is going to do something mighty in your life. Uh, I want to, I took, uh, because I told you who our uh, Shika is some person who has given me all the encouragement. Uh, I, I, you know, one thing what, one, one thing what I saw, uh, what she wrote was, as we face battles this year, we must understand we can do the impossible with the help of the Holy Spirit. As we face battles this year, we must understand we can do the impossible with the help of the Holy Spirit. So I shared last time the, the end of December 2014, where I ended up losing my job. So uh, I want to, again, I have a very precious picture of uh, my staff, the last people who, I wor who worked with me. This is Indika, this is Darshani, this is Niluka. Uh, they were the, the last three people to work with me in that company. Uh, these people are lovely, lovable children. Uh, they, 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 they loved me so much and, uh, you know, uh, whatever, ma whatever I required, they were the people to give me, supply me, Darshani, Niluka, very specially, and Indika. Y'all, I will never forget what you did me in my crisis period. There are many other people who are not here. I want to remember uh, Himali. Uh, by that time, she had left the company, but Himali was another one. Then. Uh, I want to uh, remember uh, Dilgukshi Pereira from the finance division. She was also another one. You know, some of these people got together and uh, they they collected some big money for me for Dilgukshi's thing. Not from not through the company. Company did not uh, make any any contribution, anything like that. But this staff got together and they made a, some kind of a, a contribution. So again, uh, I want to thank all of them. Um, as I, as uh, Sheikha said, uh, as we face battles this year, we must understand we can do the impossible with the help of the Holy Spirit. And you remember I started saying, there were in Theodore Pereira's words, 1 Samuel 17, 47, God, battle is of the Lord. So I strongly believe in this one. God is fighting your battles, arranging things in your favor and making a way even when you don't see a way. God is fighting your battles, arranging things in your favor and making a way even when you don't see a way. This had been my life all the time. Uh, God arranging things in ways which we cannot see. So we started 2014 on this note, uh, 2015 I mean, on this note uh, where I have lost the job every day. But I believe uh, these words are the words for my life and this will come right because I believe in the grace of God all the time. I know that we struggle but we know God is great. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord this is what I believe very much. Uh, I have a, a kind of a prayer uh, on, or a definition of, a, of grace which I read every day, which I want to share 
with you. This was given by Pastor Jerome Fernando. Uh, so I want to uh, take this to grace of God. The grace of God will keep you through every situation in your life. You think you are not going to make it. You may think it is over for you and your family. You may feel that your mission has failed. Your dreams are but only a vapor. Your heart tells you this is it. It's finished. Fear grips you. Feet slips. Doubts arise. You may feel over and over again this is over. It is all finished. But then God says, not yet my child. But then God says, not yet my child. This is my new amazing grace. You may be going through hell and high water. But I decree that you will come out of every situation. Not because you prayed or fasted. But because God's new amazing grace is going to be sufficient for you in every situation of life but because God's new amazing grace is going to be sufficient for you in every situation of life. I pray you in the name of Jesus. Now coming through victorious for the glory of God. This is his amazing new grace. I look at this portion of prayer every day and I believe this is truly my life. In these couple of sentences, these few sentences, it talks everything that I have gone through. I have thought many a times things are over for me. In 1988, when the things happened, I thought that's the end of my life. In fact, I want to set myself on fire and put an end to this life. But God has taken me to his grace 27 years. I'm not going to claim that I'm a you know, righteous person like Job or Joseph or some person. But it is not my righteousness, but it is God's love. It is God's support, the help of the Holy Spirit. And most of the time, we thought when Dinusha was not well, we thought that is the end of it, right? And I thought my mission has failed. Why did I live all this time? Then um, when... In the next setup, when the problems came up with the public sector institution, again I thought, why all these things? So I thought, I'm not going to make it. In fact, in 2008, as soon as I came back, many people, including one senior CID officer told me, you know, one year's time, the case will be heard, you will be sent to jail. Today. Seven years have passed, seven and a half months, seven and a half years have passed, not even a case. So this is God's grace and peace. And remember, the battles we are fighting are not with small people, all powerful. The chairman of that company long time back told me, you have so much of money, we have so much of money. Don't try to fight with us. Very true. I could not have fought. I could not get a lawyer, but the God, God gave me the lawyer. Not a president's council, just an ordinary person. But God saw that our victory comes through his name. And that man is also blessed to be a big person today. So, fear will grip you. Feet will start slipping. Doubts will arise. On the 12th of December 2007, I was in the doubt. I was thinking, did I make a wrong decision in coming to Jesus Christ? And have because most of my people were telling that I'm cursed because I have accepted Jesus Christ. I changed my religion. 12th of December, I was thinking 2007, you know, almost impossible situation. No bail coming inside the inside the hospital as a prisoner. But then I saw that day God's grace in abundance. Suddenly, from nowhere, magistrate has no power to give bail, but he gives bail. That is God's power. God's power. As we face battles this year, we must understand we can do the impossible with the help of the Holy Spirit. Shekha, these words have kept me going all the time. I know that you have given me a lot of encouragement. 
you know, um, I can't write something negative, she will write something very positive. So this great girl whom I have not seen, today many of the people whom I spoke about, I have not seen them eye to eye. I have not seen them face to face. But God has brought all these people into my life and I know that he is going to bring me victory because he is going to fight this one. God is fighting your battle. I want to end up this today's uh, thing, probably the penultimate one, uh, you know, a family. A family is a, a wonderful family. You can see Shihania here, my granddaughter, with a, a broken leg, a fractured ankle, but see the smile waiting for the doctor uh, in a wheelchair. This is a family. The joy that is there is all coming through the grace of God. In pain, this girl was in pain at that time because by this time she had not seen the doctor. She's waiting for the doctor at the Colombo Dardens on 1st of October 2014. But see the smile in this girl's face. And we know that this was on the 7th of October 2015, this year, Ocean's birthday. And you can see the Janusha with all her sickness here. We can see Janusha, Oshini, and my little granddaughter, Shihania. So this family, although have gone through many, many struggles, we are a happy family. We are a united family. Our inheritance is in Jesus. So tomorrow, I will be sharing my 25th part and the final part. So today I paid many tributes. I believe uh, I have done justice in this thing. Maybe I have missed some people, but uh, you know, God will never forget anyone. So uh, once again, what I can tell you is that we are children of God. Jesus, we have all authority over everything and I'm proud to be part of you, my Lord. Jesus Christ. Thank you and God bless you. Amen.